Uh, and speaking of them, a PBS NewsHour White House correspondent on MSLSD today, Yamichi Alcindor. Yamichi Alcindor is the PBS NewsHour White House correspondent. And here is what Yamichi Alcindor had to say about gun safety programs and teachers. Hat tip, Washington Free Beacon, a great website. Cut 13, go. And there are some people that I've talked to, some advocates who are very worried about the racial impact that, impacts that this will have. Mm. You look at Erica's reporting, if you start arming teachers and you look at the statistics and say that there are black and brown students who are being, um, who, who are being, who are being disciplined more than their white counterparts, you could then start seeing statistics where potentially black students are getting shot or in accidents when their teachers are trying to shoot or trying to do gun safety measures. So there's this idea that the NAACP and other advocacy groups say, not only are we looking at this as a issue, issue issue but it's also the idea that racially this could be a problem what what the hell racially arming teachers to protect the students racially could be a problem because she said in part students could potentially shoot black students more what kind of mind is this how how do you how do you wake up in the morning and go to bed at night when your mind is this is this filled with such asinine propaganda? So we shouldn't arm our teachers because the potential exists that they'll kill more black students? Because after all, they punish more black students than white students. Let's put race aside. Maybe the students who are punished deserve to be punished. What do you think about that? As a matter of fact, Inner city schools are more dangerous than other schools. Now, there's a lot of reasons for this. Race really is not one of them, but there's a lot of reasons for this. And so when people like me talk about school choice, school competition, charter schools, uh, tax credit schools, homeschooling and so forth, you're blown off. And you must be a right wing kook. You must be against public education. And so the solutions to what goes on in a lot of these schools are rejected by the left. And now when you talk about we need to protect the students who are compelled to go into these schools, wherever these schools are, you need to protect these kids. And that includes training and arming teachers and under certain programs and ideas and so forth. Here we have the PBS News, our White House correspondents. PBS, Public Broadcasting System, another government creation. Her concern is that teachers potentially will shoot more black students. It's insane out there. Insane. The racist arguments are just, are just nuts. I'll tell you something else. In Fairfax County school system in uh, Virginia, they have a new idea. Now, this is the biggest school system in Virginia. It's the biggest county in Virginia, over a million people. You know how little Johnny and little Susie and their parents would take them to the store? They're all excited to buy, uh, you know, pencils and rulers and stuff, whatever they need for school. School's beginning. You buy the stuff for school. Well, that's not fair. What do you mean it's not fair? Well, there are families who can't afford that stuff. You know, rulers, erasers, pens and pencils and line paper and that sort of stuff. Oh, wait a minute. I thought we had all kinds of school programs to take care of that in government. No, no, no. You don't understand. So here's a great idea. Everybody brings in all their stuff. The little kids bring in all their stuff. And it becomes community property in the class. Community property. And then it's divvied up. What? Oh, yeah becomes the property of the entire classroom. And then you see the nobody suffers. And then it's just sort of divided up. Well, that seems quite ridiculous. You know how much money we pour into public schools? Hundreds of billions of dollars. Where does it all go? Hundreds of billions of dollars. And what do we teach? First day in, redistribution of wealth. But pencils and erasers and line paper and so forth. Because any other system is unfair. The only just system 
is socialism. I'll be right back. Mark 